Welcome, guys, to the start of a new Let's Play. As a Digimon fan for a long time, this is the first Digimon game that I'm actually playing on the channel. In fact, it's the second one, second Digimon, yeah, second one, that's worth two. Second Digimon game I've ever played, though I have played through the original Digimon world quite a few times. I remember back when it was on TV, when I was a kid. And I just really like getting home for Digimon. Just on time. It's always just on time as I got off the bus. I'd be home. Digimon theme tune would be on. And I'd be watching through these first two series. Oh, and I got Tamers later on in life. Good times. But just want to say I've got Digimon fan qualifications. Even if you don't think I have. So this is going to be a live commentated full Let's Play. As 100% as a blind Let's Play can ever, ever match. 99% star is what we're going for. Encountering, exploring, a new game, a new world, a new dynamics. I'm sure with characters that I love from my youth. Hopefully. Oh, will I be collecting them all from the TV series? We'll find out as we enter a new story. Of course, as we all commentated. Let's begin. Press new game. And actually get in there rather than intro for the end of times. ようこそ。デジラボへ。ここはデジタルワールドと時を同じくして起きたこの物語をそれに巻き込まれた2人の人間の視点を通してあなたは見ることができる。お互いに立場も違えば物語の中で果たした役割も全く違うこの2人。どちらの視点でこの物語を探るのかさあ、選んでちょ
Did you watch TV yesterday? I did, it was awesome! <laughs> okay, sure. What, what is it? What? What's going on? Hey guys, ever heard of Digimon? What's this all of a sudden? You're talking about Digimon programs, right? Those dangerous programs used by hackers. Oh, you old man Fanta. Dangerous? How dangerous exactly? They can break through security, still data. Enter path with protected form for these. It's old man Fanta. Those programs can do all kinds of nasty things. They're behind most of the incidents that have been happening. Wow, Digimon sound nuts! My friend got his account targeted by them. No way! When did this happen? In some areas, Digimon roam around on their own. Wait a minute. Digimon can move? It sounds like these programs have avatars, kind of like monsters. Digimon, like digital monsters. Exactly! When did this happen exactly? Mr. Navit has logged in. Okay. Yo, what's up, people? <laughs> wow, it's Mr. Navit! Ah, you mean that Eden mascot? Sorry, man, no solicitations. <laughs> what the heck? Why wouldn't even a visual come all the way out here? It's a private room, you know. Just who are you? And what's with that greeting? Hardly seeing an official. Wait a minute, is he a hacker? Speak of the devil, for real? That's right, I'm Mr. Navit, the hacker. I have a fantastic present for all of you. Be sure to log in to Eden tomorrow. Don't forget now, if you don't log in, I'll hack you. Bye bye now. Mr. Navit has logged out. What the heck? What's that, an actual hacker? No way, dude. I think someone's playing a prank on us. Sounds fun, don't it? Let's check it out. What? Don't tell me you're all chicken. You wanna go, Akina? What will you do if it's a real hacker? It's just PR for an Eden event, ain't it? A real hacker would be cooler, though. Sounds like I can't stop you. Fine, then I'll come with. What? Is this a date now? You asking me out all of a sudden? Anyway... Anyone else wanna come with us? Seems Brandon does. Thank you for the follow. Better safe than sorry, I'm out. I'll pass! Me too! Bye, Love Crusher. I'm in. Is that me? And so the chatting continued. Akilo and Blue Box went on with their late night gab fest. As always, topics were loose with no real focus. Eventually, dawn broke outside their windows. That was the day they were finally going to meet in Eden. They spent the day much as they did the day before. And then the appointed time drew near. Oh, gender male named Takumi. Well, I look all stylish. Oh, I remember when I used to have hair like that. Never happened, but still. All is, and I'm betting anything. Yeah. <laughs> never any point in writing my full name, is there? <laughs> it never fits. Log in with the end of the day, that I shall. Are you send us to more cutscenes, are you? Yokoso, Denno Kuka, and Rakuen, Eden. Eden is a metaverse in the 革新的なサービスの数々を提供する新世代型デジタルコンテンツですショッピングから映画などの各種エンターテインメント企業間の小取引から行政機関の手続きまで皆様のニーズにお応えし皆様の生活の一部となるサービスを本日も心を込めてご案内させていただきます従来のネット画面上でのやり取りではなくアバターを介しての直感的なバーチャルリアリティ体験と最先端の電脳空間サービスを心ゆくまでお楽しみくださいエデンは
世界をつなぎ未来をつむぐヒューマンネットワーク上城エンタープライズが運営しております That's a face. Can't be a Digimon protagonist though if I'm not wearing goggles. That's the rule, right? The entrance to Eden. This is where we promised to meet. The entrance to Eden it is. I'm here a little earlier than we'd agreed on. I'm guessing Akino and Blue Block still aren't here. A bit disconcerting seeing like empty blank space off in the sky and stuff like that. Like over there, there's buildings, and then there's just white. This will be the first time I've met them outside a chat room. I don't know what their avatars look like though, but I should be able to figure it out. I'll try making small talk with the Eden avatars in the area. Right, it's time for me to go look around and enjoy this town. What buttons have we got here? Okay, playing on the Switch by the way, I didn't mention that. <laughs> got X as the menu. Digiline. Oh, that seems to be like a talking program. Maybe I shouldn't look into these until people actually tell me to look into them. Keyword, player information too. My wallet says 2,000 yen in it. My hacking skill, that's actually a thing. Right, let's begin looking around and talking to people rather than nosing through my inventory. That round thing with the arrow is the access point. You can use it to travel around Eden. You mean that thing? Sure thing. Huh? What? You don't want to talk anymore? Uh, what? Okay. Nice talk. Why there's an area in Eden filled with hackers? Why wouldn't the company shut such a dangerous area down at once? I'm logged in from abroad. It's all thanks to Eden that I can keep up with my buddies. He's an international metal student. Great name. Look there! No, don't be obvious. It's a hacker. You shouldn't get too close. You mean because he's got a hoodie on? I've got a cell phone digivice for my birthday. He also those goggles. They're pretty sweet. Next time I'll pick them up. Wait, my goggles are a digivice? Digivice is logged into Eden, and the voice features are handy. Still, maybe my daughter's too young for one. I'm worried about security. Got a digivice on my head? Hi, creepy hacker. You don't talk much. This entrance is one of the largest in all of Eden. There's even a pavilion further in. Have you heard of pavilions? Pavilions are places where companies can safely and securely do business over Eden. Unfortunately, they aren't open to the public. Run your errands to the bank or the post office. The forms can all be taken care of here in Eden. This really is a world of convenience, says the modern businessman. Still wearing suits, aren't you? That's not very modern. You should wear your own space suits at this point. Today, I'm logging in from a top class online in Rapongi. Both the service and the avatar management are first rate. It's a female celebrity. I've been to Shinjuku and Shibuya's Eden spots, but the uh, login areas and cafes were packed and what's more, filthy. I deserve better. Do now, female celebrity. Oh shoot, I'm supposed to be at this pavilion today. I messed up the URL again. Wait, do they do They have like a bar they have to type in the URL? Even though they're in the like a digital world, they still have to like put in like twitch.tv forward slash all of and that's all they need to put in. You can use access points to get to areas with connections that always live, but to go anyplace else, you'll need a URL. Seems that's the case. Heard a rumor. There's a ghost going around Eden. If you ask around, you'll hear stories about the white boy. But if you look real close, the facial texture's all messed up. The arms and legs are slimy tentacles. Its real form is the demon of the creeping darkness. It comes up to your and snaps it up. Chomp chomp. That's the rumor anyway. Can't be dang- Those white boys, they're dangerous. Gotta watch out for them. What now? I don't know. Even though I'm in the digital world, my avatar looks just like the real me. I know I'm supposed to cut down on crime, but it still sucks. I guess that makes sense. They actually make you look like you. That's not bad, actually. I guess that gets rid of like things like catfishing, etc. Nowadays, being able to work at a company's Eden branch is a huge stat symbol. Alright, we haven't found anything yet. There's a shiny, though. A gummy mon medal. Look at your friend. They're not here. Did you try looking in the community area? It's an open area just like the entrance, so you can get there from any terminal. Nope. There don't seem to be any avatars like them. I guess I should up too early after all. That's a lot of dot dot dots. <laughs> the do reborn. Is 
There's still time left before I'm eating. I should check out some of the other areas. At least I'm not a silent protagonist. But we nearly talked to everyone. There's a kid running around and parents over here. What if you trip and fall in the digital world? Do you get hurt? I think eating avatars move faster than real people. I hate to see what the people of your world actually run speed is then. Uh -huh, it's fine. It's no more him running than Jim. It's no more running than... What? It's just an avatar, so it affects his muscles, but it'd be good image training, though. It's no more running than Jim. Yes. That is what it said. I wasn't wrong. Hey, now. Keep running like that, and you're gonna fall. Even as an avatar, it'll still hurt. Well, he answered my question. Where is she? I was supposed to meet my friend here ages ago, but I don't see her anywhere. She's right next to you. My friend's late. I wonder if there was a problem with her access point. The public ones are better, but expensive, so she usually logs in from home. Public access internet is more expensive? I thought it's usually free, but crap. That's the trade-off. Well, we talked to everyone in this area. Now let's move on. It's the orienteering part of the game, isn't it? Right, moving to Eden. Use the directional buttons to choose a destination. If there are new areas that you can go to, they will be indicated with new. Select and log out from the options on the left will return you to the point you use to access Eden. Right, and go to Eden Community Area 2. What if I choose log out? <laughs> Game over. Story ends. That's what I'm wondering now. Are all these community areas on top of buildings? This is the community area. I like this place. It's quiet and relaxed. My Digivice talk feature is getting a call. Who could it be? Huh? Hey there, it's me, Mr. Navit. Just for a sec. You're behind schedule, silly. You're gonna be late. Hurry up. Come to Galacta Park in Kowloon. Your two friends arrived a little while ago and are waiting for you. I have a gift for you all, but everyone has to be there first. Bye-bye. Kowloon, isn't that a dangerous area full with hackers? I've already figured out this guy's identity, by the way. It's me. Well, okay, calm down. No need to panic. We can get there. Surely. We'll just ask that hoodie guy. He's obviously a hacker because he wears a hoodie. I wonder what he meant by gift. Anyway, let's go to Galactic Park in Kowloon. I don't know how to get there, do I? I've never ever even been anywhere near Kowloon. How do I get there? There might be someone here who knows how to get to Galacta Park in Kowloon. I better ask around. You got keyword Galacta Park Kowloon. During conversations, you will hear keywords. Keywords will mark characters with a lock icon. This means you can ask the character about keywords. If you ask the right character about a certain keyword, the lock will open and you will learn some new information. Well, that's interesting to know. That means I've got to talk to everyone, is it? Or just conversations that are story ways. I don't know. I found a sparkly thing at the end of the street. And then I saw something awesome. What? Okay. What did you see that was awesome after the sparkly thing? Is that the latest Digivice? Sweet. If I had one, I could do so much. So the term Digivice stands for Digital Digeur Standard Terminal. My buddy's cousin friend said so. Okay. Surely. The monument's a miniature of even. I can't turn... Can I turn the camera? No. That monument here. So that's a miniature of Eden, which is basically just another world with rings along it. We've got a Minomon medal. The top areas for Eden are offices of government agencies and big corporations. It's so glitzy. And then the bottom level. Still with old trash data. They say it's pretty seedy. I've heard that the virus attacks all originate down there. It's a real public nuisance. Ah, that's interesting. So down below is basically where they drop all their trash data and it becomes virus filled. Great. I thought I'd meet with my friends to go shopping, but there's so many shops in here. Just one is enough. Just one is enough. I may be too old to get far in the real world, but here in Eden, my habit I can go for miles. It's real nice. See, this is what we're hoping for in the future when we get old, that we can do this kind of thing. This is my future dream. Kind of busy here. Yeah? Right, let's ask him about Galactic Park. What? You want to go to Kowloon? But why? It's lots of people with hackers. Besides... If that's what you're into, we're done here. Go talk to a hacker if you want to know about it. It's a hacker looking fug near the entrance. Don't blame me for your foolish decisions. Grow up and take responsibility for yourself. I just got lectured. 
All right, I'm guessing he does mean Mr. Hoodie Hoodie. Let's check around the place. Let's go back to the inn entrance. I looked at the sparkle on the ground, didn't I? I got a thing and I didn't see anything. Are you a hacker? What the hell? Cow Lung Cracker Parts. What's that supposed to be? It sounds awful. Oh, you mean Cow Lung Galactic Park? I don't know that one either. Sorry, maybe you should ask someone else. Yes. That's definitely what I said. Cow Lung Cracker Parts. Excellent. Sounds like the tastiest dish I've ever had. Hmm, maybe we should ask Creepy Hacker. I want to go to Galactic Park in Kowloon. That's what you think you want, isn't it? I'll show you the way. This is the URL to their area. Take it. I got the URL! Now I can go to Kowloon. Off we go then. So we're good, we're done, we're ready to roll. Got the URL. Let's float around our weird world. You now go to Kowloon level one. Is that our dungeon-esque place? It's nice how it has like literally a symbol of a one up there. And stuff, thank you for the sub. As we head. To Kowloon. What's with the music in here? I'm going to get berated. Alright, time for me to talk over the poor Japanese voice actor. Tris. Alright. Sorry, I'm late. I'm Ollis. I go by Aiba. Is that what my name is in that world? Would you happen to be a keener by any chance? Should we go with a personal approach or not? Nah, sorry I'm late. Oh, hey. Yep. I'm Akino. This is your first time in Eden, right? My real name's Noki Eschilamini. Hello. Nice to meet you. Now I can... <laughs> I think we'll leave that one. <laughs> no! You're late. And you're a guy, so you're in for it. You're late! What were you doing? Leave me all alone in such a dangerous place. How would you feel if you were in my shoes? You're asking if Blue Box has shown up yet. Oh, he showed up alright. What does that even matter? Like, can you believe this? He's all, oh, I've got to go and find a ghost. And all of a sudden, he's running off by himself. That's how he rolls, apparently. 100% full of himself. Thinks he's all that just because he's got good looks or whatever. So, like, what? The ghost of the Pell Boy? I heard the rumors, but don't know the details. What's he even plan to do if he finds it? I mean, ghosts in cyberspace? That's not scientific. It doesn't even make any sense. Not that I'm scared or nothing. Boo! What is it? Overreacting a bit there, aren't we? I'm overacting too. Jeez, oh, Rana, it's just you. I, I thought you were a ghost. Sheesh, you don't have to act all tough by coming to a place like this if you're chicken, you know. Hey now, you're the one who ditched me in that place like this, Rana, you slimy little no good. I'll just shut your trap. Anyhow, we've never met her before, have we? I'm Rana Sanada. Nice to meet you and all that. Hey, now, that's no proper introduction. 
He must have put two and two together by now. But this is the person behind Blue Box. He's not what you imagined, is he? In the chat, he's kind and considerate. Like a reliable big brother figure, right? When I first met him, I was really weirded out. He's surly, self-absorbed. He's got this weird look in his eye. I mean, talk about a waste of good looks. Am I right? Leave the stupidity for later, okay? So while I was waiting for all this, I took a little look around. I thought that Mr. Nabbit fellow who called us here might be around. What? I thought you were looking for a ghost! Well, I was doing a little that too. But in the end, I found neither. Rather, there wasn't anyone around to be found. You think there'd be one or two hackers in an area like Kowloon, no matter how dangerous it is. So very sorry to keep you waiting. I'm Mr. Navit. I've got something for all you good boys and girls who showed up here today. This is the miraculous power that has changed the world. Huh? What? What is this? It's hacking! We've all been hacked! A new program has been installed. Digimon Capture. Whoa, this Mr. Nabbit fellow is no slouch. He broke from my firewall like it was nothing. Digimon? This hacking tool has been making the rounds with hackers lately. Wait, so when you say Digimon, you mean like Digimon Digimon? Yeah, those Digimon. The ones you're so interested in. Huh, there's a certain kind of data known as digital monsters that you can capture by scanning, this thing says. Huh, so Digimon is short for digital monster. What? Whoa, hey, hey, hang on! Digimon are like nasty programs the hackers use, right? So then, so then, so then, that means, have we become hackers? Definitely how you become a hacker. Oh, I suppose you could put it that way. Well, it's no big deal. Hackers are nothing out of the ordinary nowadays. No way! Nah! Hackers are bad news! I'm not doing this! I don't want any part of this! I I'm gonna delete this program! Uh, what? No way! You've gotta be kidding me! I can't uninstall this thing! Leave it be. The program's protected. Who knows what will happen if you force delete it? Uh, what do you mean? Ah, so that was Mr. Navit running away? Well, no. Using my keen detective sleuthing, Digimon cybering, not that, kind of technique. I've ascertained that this person who was running away has legs, and therefore cannot be Mr. Navit. Except he was using an avatar, so it could be that the ghosts everyone's talking about, maybe? <laughs> Don't let him get away, because ghosts have legs, right? Arata, hold up! Why are we chasing him? I I'm out of here! I'm going home, you hear? What is this? It wasn't here before. What's it doing here? Some hacker do this too. It, is this telling us to keep going onward? Are they not letting us go back home? Rada could be in trouble. Let's go after him. What we got? It's reminding me of Axel Train now. <laughs> Might find an exit there too. Let's go look for him. No, I'm not going. I won't. It looks like I'm going solo. So how is that talking going with me over the poor people that I'm talking over? Is that okay? Do you want me to turn the voices off? 
Do you like it for the weirdness? I am actually trying to stay in sync with them as well. But still, we have a tutorial to save. Press the X button while in the field to activate the Digivice. You can save at almost any time from the save menu of Digivice. Oh, wow. I had some D2. I just remembered now. I had a D2 Digivice when I was younger as well. I used to walk with it when I was on my paper rounds. <laughs> I wonder what happened to that. <laughs> These aren't my Digimon vices. These aren't my Digimon vices. That's not what it says. Make sure you save frequently so you don't regret it if you get a game over. Sure thing. There are scenes without voice acting as well. I do know that. I do my small research before I start. Right, well, time to get saved down because the game has threatened me. And we're on the right-hand side, which is the correct side. 57 minutes playtime. All right, let's get out there. You not coming? No, this isn't supposed to happen. A file put up by a hacker. I don't know how to destroy it, but I need to go after Arana. So it seems like hacking is something akin to being infected with a computer virus. Oh, now this, these are the scapes I expect to see in a Digimon, a digital world. Random enter keys up in the sky. Good times. Let's get on our way. Does the Kowloon area stretch all the way back through here? It feels totally different than the cyberspace areas in the upper part of the Eden network. There's no trace of Arada. I may have gone further inside. I should be careful. Right, let's get a look down the place. What's my favourite Digimon, personally? I mean, everyone likes the Agamon line, right? But I think Pyildramon stands out quite well for me. My face. Some symbols has been inscribed. What on my face? What was that? Cowlins as dangerous as they say. Who knows what might happen here? I better hurry up, find the latter, and get out of here. What's wrong? You look like you've seen a ghost. It's all ghosts that look like me. If that's true, that ghost might have been me. Some call me the Wraith of Eden. They say I'm not of this world. The truth is simply that I'm rather elusive and tend to turn up unexpectedly. That's all. Please relax. I'm not a ghost. I am very real here in Eden. I exist to guide those who are lost. Like you. You've just had a program installed. Digimon Capture. Which marks you as a hacker. But you were still merely a fledgling hacker. There are hackers with a wide variety of different goals here in Eden. Chivalrous ones who find and report security holes. Thieves who steal accounts to rob money and data. Others are just out to prove their skills. Truly, a wide variety. What kind of hacker do you want to be? You're indeed a fledgling, if that is your only response. Not even hatched from your egg yet. You're free to become a hacker if you want, or something else altogether. It's up to you. 
What led you to this is neither here nor there. You came here because you were interested in hacking, and now because of that. Got the Digimon Capture program, yes? I would therefore recommend you give the remarkable pair of these Digimon programs a try. That's fine. Now, to commemorate your birth as a fellow hacker to be, I shall present you with your first Digimon. There, behind you. That is a Digimon program. Terry, Mom! Balmon! Forgot your name! Clockwork Orange Mon! There are three different types of Digimon here, but you can only take one. I'm trying to remember now. Which will you choose? Right, the excessively adorable animal type, Yun Palmon. Mechanical looking. Is it Giromon? G is it Giro? Possibly fragrant plant type, Palmon. Okay, so I can see which it is. So go, hang on a sec. Haguromon, is it? Why do I think Gillo? Haguromon. A virus type. I think I'll have to take Palmon, considering. Sorry, it's Terriamon. I'm taking a possibly fragrant plant. <laughs> possibly. Palmon it is! Right, you seem to have made up your mind. Okay, let's bring out your shell. Several steps are required to obtain a Digimon. If you discover or encounter a Digimon program, run a scan and then acquire the analyzed data. Those are all done with Digimon Capture. You can use that without any restrictions. But just because you got the analyzed data doesn't mean the Digimon program itself is yours. First you must convert it. You must launch the Digimon program and implement it into cyberspace, first and foremost. Only then can it serve as a digital monster, a hacking program that is not to be trifled with. Unlike scan, however, convert is not part of the Digimon Capture application. We hackers finally devised the technique needed, but certain rules were put in place regarding how it's used, in order to control how this power is exercised. Your chosen Digimon program is still weak, but it will grow in power and digital. As you gain experience as a hacker, your programs will become more powerful as well. Someday, immense power might be yours. When that day comes, responsibility will come along with it. Hackers may be free spirits, but they must never succumb to chaos. Never that. I'm sure most of this went over your head, but tuck it away in the corner of your mind. Besides, merely having Digimon Capture gives you hacker status. It's a special program, but a hacker's abilities, values and goals can all be seen in how well the hacker can use Digimon programs. Because protecting the Order of Eden is a hacker's first duty. Yeah, I would be very happy if you would try to become that kind of hacker. After all, hackers have been with Eden since its inception. You want the Digimon right now? I see. You heard what I had to say and decided you want to become a proud hacker too. Excellent. Well then, follow the steps. Start with the scan. Have Digimon capture running and target a... Huh? Am I wrong in thinking that from the first Digimon movie? memories now, I'm not sure. The Digimon I prepared for you went and ran away! Well, it was being chased by something that looked like quite menacing. There are plenty of other Digimon. We'll find another... Wait, wait just a moment. That did surprise me though. For a Digimon as tough as that one to appear in this area. Could have been released as a bad joke by a low-level hacker. Or was an attack on me by someone? What's that? You want to go after it? You want a powerful Digimon like that? Nah, you couldn't handle it. Forget about it. What's that? You're concerned about the Digimon being chased? You are a curious one. Still, that's all the more reason to leave it be. 
He looked foolish he got her interfering in a fight between two mere programs. Well, I have to go help. I have to. I chose it. I can't just let it run away and get horribly virused. Delete it! If that's what you want, then you should do it. Chase after it. If that's your decision. Well, I'm going, but I'm obviously not going this way. When you chase another Digimon? Well, yeah, I probably should. Not oh, Palmon! I haven't really fought ahead here. Oh boy, you really are new with this. Do you intend to face off against a digital monster? I know. You truly are curious. Nah, you're just a soft touch. That's it. What a coincidence. I have both those things as well. Just this once, allow me to aid you. You, um, need to do anything for the moment. Watch and learn. This is how a real hacker uses their skills. You can't just have machine room on! Well, it seems he wants to fight with you. It may have been something of an ordeal, but that Digimon is now yours. Instruct it well. A master of progress. That's kind of cool. I've got like data appearing everywhere except this corner. It's cool. I'm part of the digital world. Stats and timeline. Enemy and ally stats as well as the timeline are displayed during battles. Order of actions. I think we're well versed in these kind of things. We've got ally Digimon, enemy Digimon, and guest Digimon in green. Digimon move in order from the top of the timeline. Allies are blue, enemies are red, and guests are green. When a command is selected, the predicted post-action position is displayed. Oh. We're on a different trails now. Battle commands. Issue commands to your allies to proceed with the battle. Attack with the A button. Forever commands hold down a directional button or the L stick while pressing the A button. Escape by holding down the R button and pressing the A button together. And press the start button to let your Digimon act on their own. We've got attack, skill, use a skill, defend, half damage taken, using an item and changing, switch out battling party members with backups. Oh, I like it when I can do that. Auto, auto battle and escapes flee from battle. Of course it does. Right, well, let's take on the Kurasats. Kurisarimon? Yes. Surely I'll say that. I should use a skill. We gotta we gotta use the good stuff. Let's use poison ivy. Eh? Is that 10% chance to poison? Oh. You didn't kill it! We like you're gonna take that. I got the blowing kill. Alright, I leveled up and I got a skill. But look at it, there's clothes in the settings. I think I just got that as a thing. 95% accuracy with less SP use. Not bad. 